Hi guys, it's Katie here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we're gonna be doing another haul actually. So I said to myself that I wouldn't be getting much plans because I'm not home, but these were kind of planned before I temporarily moved. So I have seven plans with me and we're gonna go in a particular order. So the first two actually came from Equigenera. I think I placed my order at the beginning or like at the end of July. I'll have to check but I think it's at the end of July and they had some interesting ethereums and there is one that I've been wanting for a very long time and this is Ethereum Bessier AF so this is not a pure species this is actually currently still undescribed and I don't think it has a relation to Bessier like the true species because if you've seen them they're actually quite different so the true bestiae tends to run more bright green and it has ruffles on the leaf edge where the bestiae af so what equigenero cells pretty much are very dark interiums like very dark this one in particular is also a very dark specimen i'm gonna show a picture here the right one is my bestiae and the left one is my friend's they're beautiful so it has two leaves and the fun thing about these plants is they have very prominent red color on adaxials especially when the new leaf emerges and when the new leaf emerges apparently the colors that they shift through are like a rainbow like i've seen one in in real life when it was just unfurling a new leaf and damn they are so pretty the roots look okay i'm gonna have to repot it into my own mix just because i'm more comfortable with it caterpill looks okay slightly damaged that could be due to transport but overall it looks good and i can't wait to see this guy grow i did order another anthurium so this is new on Equigenera. This is described as Anthurium Magnificum Silver. I think they sold those seedlings. I know when they first came in stock they were like $50 and I was like, nah, I just think I wanted that much. But then they got, they had like a summer sale and they were like $30. So I was like, okay, let's do it. So me and my friends ordered three in total and they looked pretty different. Like my conclusion, some are just crystallinums or hybrids. I picked this one just because it had like at least some ridges on the petiole which indicate the Magnificum heritage. I'm gonna show you a picture of my big Magnificum right here which was bought as a normal Magnificum and it does have pretty similar venation but this guy has very elongated leaves. This is a new leaf that somehow got damaged but it is already working on a new one. And I had one Magnificum like this and I sold it and I regret it to this day, so hopefully this guy will replace its place. So the next three plants came in a package that I ordered together with one of my friends and we basically got Ethereum seedlings because <laughs> I'm so happy they got widely available though because one year back or even like more they were just, no, 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 we didn't have that in Europe. So I ordered two seedlings, those two. One is allegedly Poppy X Crystal. I'm gonna show a picture of the Poppy mother plant, which is beautiful. It has some poppy in it in there. And the seedling has taken quite a lot to it because it, you can already see the prominent venation that the mama plant has. It was crossed with crystallinum, but I don't see any crystal yet, so I'm pretty happy about that. They came planted in very dense medium, so I'm gonna have to repot these, but I think they're gonna be interesting to see and grow. And then the other one that I got was allegedly some sort of crystallinum, but if you've seen crystallinum seedlings or hybrids with crystallinums, you know that even when they're just juvenile, they have silver venation. This guy has complete lack of silver venation, so I do thought it was interesting. Maybe some sort of poppy hybrid, I don't know what I got, but this one I will definitely be growing it out. It has reddish petioles and very, very bubbly leaf blade. It is currently pushing out a new leaf, which is very cute. 
Again, same media, which I don't like, but it's, it's pushing out some new roots, so that's good. And then a seller sent us a gift. This is... I'm gonna try and pronounce it, but you can see it on the camera here. I don't know. I think it's some sort of bird nest anterior. It has sort of matte slash velvety texture, which is interesting. It seems to be growing a new growth point. The leaves are kind of not your classical anterior, like heart-shaped leaves. Not sure what I'm gonna do with this one because I'm not sure I fancy it that much, but I think it's gonna stay with me and I'm gonna grow it out for a little bit and see where it goes from there. So the last two, or actually three plants that I got for gifts. The first one is Philodendron Chironii. I believe this is how we pronounce it. We also call it Sharon because it's a Sharon. So this is basically Anderium Vigii in a Philodendron. It has a lot of secondary veins and it's also known to produce a lot of extra floral nectaries. So they can get like dots on their leaves, but it's nothing too bad, it's just a little burn, but they do it, you can't make them not do it, so it is what it is. This one is actually pushing out a new growth and it has a lot of roots, so I'm gonna repot it afterwards. And then I also received a petiole from Ularum Dambrusi, hopefully I'm pronouncing this right, so... Allegedly, they can grow from the bottom of the petiole or with the vision. The vision is for sure, but this one, I don't know, it was growing. So I'm gonna put it back in water and hopefully something happens out of it. We're gonna see, otherwise, you know, what can you lose? And the last plant that I got is actually this beautiful carnivorous plant. So I've been wanting this ever since I saw them at Jean's place because the mother plant of this is huge and I mean she was like this but then it bloomed and the bloom was super beautiful as well and it kind of took a toll on the plant a bit and they've taken some division so now they're growing this babies and they gifted me one. They're planted in tree fern and I know that not all have, yeah, they don't have roots yet. At least these guys. So it's recommended to use media that has as little nutrients as possible and to use distilled water or rain water but I've always used tap water and my plants are happy, even the carnivorous plants. So one day I will start using rain water but is today the day? No. So this was it for a short plant haul. Hopefully you've enjoyed. If you did, please give it a like, hit that notification button and I will see you next time. Bye!